take take like a take a, a little mini vacation in like February or something. Just why why pay all this extra money for a flight now? Especially especially if the holidays aren't that important to you. Go somewhere in March. Do something like that. But no time of the year is important to me. The time of the year is important to me is when I'm working and having a good time. And, you know, I, I've never been a vacation type of guy. Let's get it out of the way. You're either a vacation type of person or you're a non-vacation type of person. You have to live with these things. You have to come with this conclusion, know who yourself, know yourself, so you don't put yourself in bad predicaments. Because sometimes we pick a partner who wants to be fucking uh, Julie McCoy, and she's a travel director, and every week they want to do something. And you know what? In the beginning, because you want to get in their pants, you agree to this shit. But throughout the year, they'll, they'll tell you, like every three months, we need to take a trip. And now you're caught up in this shit of going to these. And for some people, they really enjoy that. And I'm not knocking that at all. I've just never been a vacation guy. I like a relaxing vacation. Even I don't want to have to do anything. Before stand up comedy, your your relaxation is just sitting at home and not moving. Exactly. So I want to do that year. in a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you want to do all year. Yeah. So what's the difference? There's no vacation for you. I'm talking about people who go away and actually like let their mind go and have a great time. I don't qualify. I don't qualify. And you're right. If I do go on a vacation, I don't like that much movement. Like, I don't like that much movement. I enjoy Disneyland because I was on the site. You know, I enjoy when I go to Huntington Beach because I'm on the site. You know, 20 people have hit me up and asked me if I'm going to the UFC on Saturday. Yeah. And they got a better chance of seeing fucking Muhammad Gandhi there. Because if I got to, listen, I won't drive downtown for fucking dick. Do you understand me? My, I fucking hate going downtown. Try me. Test me. Like Hollywood's bad enough. Marina Del Rey's bad enough. Woodland Hills. See if you ever see my Cuban ass downtown. I wouldn't fucking go downtown if you paid me. I get lost every time I go downtown. You just go down there and get lost. So I wouldn't go to a fight. I went to one fight and it was the biggest mistake because you leave with 18 to, I can't do it. I like the fights. I got spoiled with Joe when we would go right from the Mandalay Bay upstairs, right downstairs. Right. I love that shit. I got to leave, once I got to leave the facility and you got a far ride, you're in no danger. Plus it takes a while to get out of the parking lot. I can't imagine. You know, it's, it's people think like, what the, f I met a guy on a plane a couple months ago, maybe a month ago or something. He's like, hey man, if you're, I travel a lot if you're lonely. And you want to come over to my house? I go, where do you live? And he told me, I go, in, in, in contrast to the show, where is it? it goes about 45 minutes. I go, listen, <laughs> you got a better chance of hanging yourself or pulling him aboard Dane. Cause... And he was like, really? And I go, yeah. And then I think last week or the week before, you guys retweeted Chris D'Elia. Oh, I agree. I, I love that. That was the best. And And you know, guys, you look at that clip and you go, there's something wrong with D'Elia. I look at that clip and I go, that's me. And there was a clip of D'Elia basically just saying when people call him up to, and ask him to do shit. Yeah, you want to play flag football? You no. want to you wanna, you wanna go to eat the best pancakes? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was. Do you want to go stand on line and get breakfast? Not really. Do you want? I'm the same person. I don't know what I want to do till I want to do it. Especially. I feel bad for people. People call me up all the time, man, if you're going to do something today, let me know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it. If I call you up and you say to me, I'll be there in 40 minutes, you lost. So that's why I don't call nobody. Because you might when change I'm ready your mind go, in 30 minutes? No. Because when I'm ready to go, oh yeah, I'm ready to go. Ten Planet Kush, it drains the lactic motherfucking acid. People won't cop to it. The health specialists say, no, that doesn't happen, Joey. Yes, it fucking does. I got friends in Harvard, bitch. I'm like God Brooks. I got friends in high places, motherfuckers.